would say, oh honey, you're just in your 40s now. It's just part of life. You're supposed to have more belly fat and hot flashes. That's bullshit. God forbid if a man's winky doesn't work. Oh, insurance and the medical professionals will take care of that. What's up, fitness fam? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Coach Claire, a wellness and online fitness coach. All right, today I'm gonna to talk about a very important subject. Why it's harder to lose weight over the age of 35, right? So many reasons, so let's get right into it. Number one, our digestion slows down. Our liver processing of food slows down as we age. So we get backed up really easily and feel like a bloated bag of ass, just like that. We just can't eat the same things we could when we were 20 and 30 years old and get away with it. Am I right? Can you? If you can, you're a mutant because I sure can't. <laughs> so what does that mean? What I'm referring to is like a lot of processed foods. Um, our bodies just can't handle it, can't handle the influx of all the fats and all the carbs all at once, especially if it's um, more processed in nature. So eat the food that, that nature made, not the food that man made as much as possible, and you will feel a whole lot better and it'll help you lose weight as well. So how do we solve the digestion problem when we're trying to lose weight and get fit over age 35? So I'm gonna put a couple charts up. Um, examples of good carbs versus the bad carbs, if you will, um, some good proteins as well. So make sure you stop this video and screenshot this for your own benefit and keep it in your phone. It'll help you. Um, so you want to make sure you're eating these foods to help you along the way. Um, stick to, like I said, nature, the food that nature made, not the food that man made because we screwed it up and it's bloating us. It's making us sick sometimes. Um, you know, even the dairy nowadays is so processed. I don't, I can't do it. I'm 51 years old. For those of you who don't know in full blown menopause, and let me me tell you real quick when I eat even fat-free Greek yogurt oh my gosh somebody is like somebody turned on the hot flash just like that like a freight train I'm like is it hot in here <laughs> so be careful with dairy because it is a lot more processed than it ever used to be like when we were growing up so just be careful with that mess and I've talked about this many, many times, but alcohol stops fat loss for 24 to 36 hours, so be careful with it if you are trying to lose weight. Not saying don't drink, just saying be careful with it. Um, compounded with the digestion issues that we already have as we age, um, it really can be a real problem because again, when you drink alcohol, it's a toxin, your liver has to process it right away, therefore it doesn't have time to process food, and a lot of times it gets stored to fat for 24 to 36 hours, sometimes depending on how much you drink. So just know that, and they just came out with a study linking um, alcohol to cancer. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. All of my aunts, all of my uncles, my mom, my dad, all of them passed away of cancer, and all of them drank three to four times a freaking week. No, yeah, all of them died from cancer. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> so just fair warning on that as well. I also have a whole chapter in my new book, Fluffy to Fit, on alcohol and fat loss. I also have a hormone chapter in here too. So no matter how old you are, this is my new book, Fluffy to Fit, it will help you. Took us six months to write it, really good information in here, but don't take my word for it. Go read the reviews on Amazon. It's on Amazon for 26, Kindle for 10, and I also have it on a digital download format. I'll put the Put all the information in the description below, but this book will help you. It'll show you where your macros and calories need to be. It, full workouts in here too and full illustrations too. The next thing that happens to us as we get older is we start to get less active. Therefore, our muscle starts to disappear out of nowhere because we're sitting down doing our jobs. You know, we're just sitting a lot more than we used to when we were younger. So here's how to, here's how to fix that. Number one, you need to make sure that you're getting 10,000 steps a day. Also make sure you're lifting weights too to keep muscle on you because did you know we lose 8% of our muscle every decade um, until we get to 70 and then it's 15%. So you want to keep as much muscle on you as, as you can as you age. Um, but it makes sense, huh? Because when you see these older people walking around and they're real hunched over, because they've lost so much muscle and muscle is the glue that keeps your body together, in my opinion. So keep as much muscle on you as you can. It'll keep your metabolism up a bit um, and it'll also keep you strong. And you know, you want to end up squatting down in Walmart to get something and now you can't get back up because <laughs> you've been doing your squats in the gym, right? <laughs> So having said that, you want to make sure you're lifting four to five times per week for 45 minutes to an hour. That's all you need. You do not need more than that. I'm telling you. Um, and those of you who are trying to build glutes, and I can do a whole nother video on, you know, why your glutes aren't growing. If you need me to, I'll be glad to. Um, 
you know, it changes as we get older. Um, we just can't train as much because we can't recover as quickly. That's another thing that happens as well. So you've got to make sure you're getting all your protein and all your food in and all that good stuff, which I went into earlier. But um, yeah, so make sure you're lifting weights. That's super important. And you can do a little cardio too, 20 minutes post-lifting or fasted. Start with that. You don't want to start with too much because your body's going to adjust to what you're doing. And that means you'll have to do more and more and more to see results when a beat down. No, nobody wants to have to do that. So, and same thing with calories. Don't go too low on calories when you first start your fitness journey um, because again, your body's going to adapt to what you're doing. Yeah, wouldn't it be so much easier if we could just tell our bodies, hey, don't store that. That Reese's peanut butter cup we just ate, do not store that. <laughs> Build me a dump truck, please. <laughs> we wish it worked that easily. <laughs> Okay, number three on why it's harder for us to lose weight as we get older, hormone imbalances. I talk about this all the time for good reason because think of your hormones, and I'm gonna put it up here, as the wiring in your body that controls absolutely everything. All of these hormones, for example, your thyroid controls whether you can keep hair in your head. It controls your metabolism. So if it's off, guess what? You're gonna have a harder time losing weight. Did you know if your estrogen is too low, it causes belly fat, which happens to us in our late 40s. So be careful with all of that. Um, on my book, you can see the cover of my book here. Um, when I was, when I look like this, and I'll put it up here as well. When I look like that, I had all that belly fat. Oh my gosh, it, there was three reasons that that happened, and I'm going to take you through each one. Number one, I had a hormone imbalance, and I didn't know it. Um, my thyroid was off. I was hypothyroid, and it was making it harder for me to lose weight. So get your hormones checked. I'm going to go into that more in just a moment. Number two that I, where I was going wrong is I was under eating during the week and binge eating on the weekends. Don't do that. That does not end well. That landed me fluffier than hell. Number three, another place I was going wrong. I was drinking, like we talked about alcohol earlier in this um, video, uh, two to three times a week and not realizing it was really slowing down my fat loss progress because it does stop fat loss for 24 to 36 hours, obviously depending on how much you drank, like I said earlier. So yeah, that's where I was going wrong and that's what landed me fluffy. What got me fit is pretty much what's in the book, <laughs> but it's just eating all the right foods, training the right amount, um, and making sure the hormones were balanced as well. And by the way, I was 38 in my fluffy photo, 48 in the after photo there. And behind me here, this photo, I was 50 last summer, and I'm now 51. So it doesn't matter how old you are. Anybody can do this, okay? Seriously. Um, so just know that. So where do we want to go to get our hormones checked? This is important that you need to know this. Um, don't go to a GP or an OBGYN. They do not specialize in hormones. They're either going to laugh at you and say, oh, honey, you're just in your 40s now. It's just part of life. You're supposed to have more belly fat and hot flashes and bullshit. God forbid if a man's winky doesn't work. Oh, insurance and the medical medical professionals will take care of that. But if women that's stuck in menopause having drive a JJ and all these horrible symptoms that we get, the belly fat, hot flashes, uh, oh yeah, no, we, insurance doesn't cover that. And uh, by the way, you're just getting older and that's just part of it. It's such crap. <laughs> so you need to make sure you're going to a wellness or HRT doctor for this. Yes, that is a thing. It's kind of like when you have a knee problem, you go to an ortho for that, right? So you need a specialist for your hormones. Um, I do have a good one that does telemedicine anywhere in the US. If you need their information, I'll actually put the, the link in the description. However, um, you can also message me on Instagram. Um, if you need one, I've got two in Canada, one in Ontario, one in Alberta, one in Australia that does telemedicine and two in the UK. So if you're watching this and you're from those countries, I'm happy to help you. Send me a message on Instagram right there at Claire Morrow underscore at BB Pro. Speaking of Instagram, if you're not following me there, you probably should be. I post lots of good videos there as well. And TikTok too, all the same name at Claire Morrow underscore IFBB Pro. And I'm happy to help you. I do also offer online coaching. I have some great programs on my website. So if you are just needing a little extra help or want to know how to get fit in a little bit more detail, then definitely check that out, clairemorrow.com. And I say this all the time too. It is possible to go from fluffy to fit. I'm telling you, anybody can do this. It doesn't matter how old you are. And I come on here a lot to preach about it and tell you what to do. Um, but if you're still confused or if you just want the book, go pick it up. It will help you, I promise you. Shameless plug. Yes, I'm doing a shameless plug right now. <laughs> but I'm telling you, go read the reviews on Amazon. Um, you won't regret buying it. It'll help you tremendously. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you uh, subscribe and turn the bell on too so that you never miss a 
good video. I'm always trying to post helpful videos for you and please watch them all the way through, especially on Instagram and TikTok. Um, if you don't watch them all the way through, then the next person doesn't get to see it. It's annoying. It's just the way it is. Um, here is not as bad, but it's still a little bit like that here too. So I'm happy to help you. If you have questions, drop me a comment. And once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.